today i'm super excited today because we have our property meet in fact this is only the second time that we're running it from our offices in birmingham it's packed out we've got all 50 seats sold in fact they were sold out a few days ago so if you're coming to that look forward to kind of seeing you there you'll see more of what happens today later in the video but what i'm absolutely buzzing about is what we'll be doing at next month's event next month's event will be at edgbaston cricket stadium where we've got capacity of 200 people there but who we have as a guest speaker is the author of this book somebody that i'm absolutely buzzing about that we managed to be able to get as a speaker and this book is authored by a couple of people wahid nazir so who is wahid nazir wahid nazir was actually the former head of planning in uh, birmingham city council in charge of 1.5 billion pound property portfolio so we certainly can learn something from people like that so i'm absolutely excited uh, about that look forward to seeing you there as i said that'll be at the edbaston cricket stadium we've got 200 as a capacity there so let me show you just what's happening out here right now so uh, what's happening out here right now is very little and that's because the range rover is back in the garage i'm absolutely um let's say annoyed about because it seems to be spending more time in the garage than it does at my drive when we're driving it so let's see what happens with that i'll be running around in my son's polo for the uh for the rest of the uh, week and or till i get the car back and the other thing i'll be doing this week is getting uh, getting down and dirty and getting my uh hands into doing some of the uh some of the deal stuff that we're doing that's deals that we're exploring uh, trying to get those deals closed uh, across the line appraisals and also doing some of the uh, letting stuff as well so uh, maybe you'll see some more of that in this video When you're back at work tomorrow or doing whatever you're doing and you're saying, oh, I went to this amazing network meeting last night. This guy, Saj, oh, he's on another level. You really should go. We're talking about property and the opportunities. And if they look at you and they say, do you want sugar in your tea? It means they're probably not interested in property, right? But on the other hand, if they turn around and say, oh, property, isn't that a bit risky right now? Or oh, how does that work? That's an expression of interest. They're open to having a discussion with you, right? So that's your cue. You can tell them a little bit more. Wednesday evening, doing networking again. Got two networking events that we're doing this evening. Actually, to be honest, I'm not doing lots of networking. These two events I do try and get to. This is the uh, Muslim Business Forum. Uh, they're a great organization that really help and support local businesses. We're at a hybrid park, beautiful building, and in fact, I live stone thrones away, so it'd be uh, rude not to attend. Um, so we're here for uh, a short while. Crazy evening of networking, met some fantastic people. Leaving early because I've got to dash over to another networking event now. So clashing on the same evening. So let's head over to the next one. At Chutney and Chat now, the next networking event is buzzing away here. And we've got the uh, the chair, the Institute of Directors, just doing a presentation on um, on PR, on marketing, and particularly using LinkedIn as well. Uh, be interested to know how many people that uh, watch our YouTube channel also connected on LinkedIn. Uh, so I'll be here for a little while, a little while yet. Yeah. Enjoy the great food. Just leaving now. The restaurant we're here yesterday evening as well for our VIP dinner afterwards uh, for my networking event. So uh, two nights out at the restaurant. Uh, and my waistline is really suffering right now anyway. Um, so calling it a day right now, I've got a long day tomorrow. I'm gonna to get out and do some viewings at properties. I'll share some of that with you tomorrow as well.
It's Thursday and one of the tasks today is to get this wonderful property on the market. We're getting the 3D videography done uh, for that now. Let's go and see how she's getting on. Lovely bit of kit being used here to do some 3D videography, meaning people can actually view the property without actually being here. So uh, this should be quite impressive when it's done. Here's a novelty for you. I'm doing some property viewings in terms of showing tenants around and this new uh, HMO. This is a six bedroom uh, HMO that's just got ready, just come to the market uh, and we're just uh, marketing for tenants right now. Um, there's kind of, I guess, three reasons why I tend to do these viewings occasionally. Uh, one is uh, I enjoy doing the view. I particularly enjoy doing the closing of the transaction. So I might really, uh, really enjoy. And uh, secondly, it means, you know, I'm helping the, uh, the the team out as well in terms of supporting them in terms of their training and their skills. Thirdly, it also means I understand the market in terms of what's going on uh, right now, uh, what expectations are um, from, uh, from tenants. Um, so yeah, there are three reasons why I tend to do that. Um, so you know, if you have HMOs in Birmingham or potential HMOs, you should talk to us. We can certainly help you with managing those properties in literally hundreds and hundreds of rooms that we uh, manage. Uh, across Birmingham uh, and also I'm always looking for amazingly skilled people uh, what I call A players people that are absolutely brilliant at what they do so um, you know if you've got skills you think you can uh, uh, offer us in terms of our organization our business our several property businesses then definitely let me know I'm always looking to connect with great people um, so next what's next I've got to head over actually uh, running a bit late we need to do some uh, YouTube content uh, apart from this content as well so that I think they've got set up in the studio heading over there next So we just finished shooting one of the videos. This one's on uh, interest rates and how it's gonna change the market and particularly the massive impact, the small increase you're gonna start having on uh, people. So we're just setting up to be able to shoot for the, uh, the second video right now. So just gonna get started on that one. just finished the uh, fourth networking event this week. It's been a crazy week. Normally I'd not do that many events over four months, uh, but this has been a bit of an unusual week, maybe events restarting. And I'm such a big fan of networking. The one we had here this evening was the uh, local business improvement district, which I'm just joining uh, to be part of, uh, really to kind of grow my network and the contacts as well, and be more active locally in the uh, business community. Uh, so it was a good event, it was a small turnout, but it was nice to be able to connect with some of the people locally, made two very good contacts, I think potentially opportunities for some business uh, business there as well so uh, that's the end of um, what day is it Thursday I've lost track of the day that's Thursday I think end of the week Thursday or end of Thursday uh, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow It's Friday, my favorite day of the week, not because it's the end of the week, it's the one day that I tend to take easier. I'm heading off to the mosque now. Range Rover's still not back, so I'm still in the uh, polo, so uh, heading off to the mosque now. And this is something, again, that we should appreciate. And we should mourn the death of this woman. Like the Prophet Sallallahu would mourn the death of Abu Talib. Abu Talib was not a believer. And he did not gain personal salvation. This is one of the things that we must rectify as a woman. If you even just look at our locality, our locality here that we live, you'll see it's celebrated as one of the most Muslim dominant areas. MashaAllah, 30,000 30, 30, coming this morning for to pray in the mosques of full. We have. Hey, today we're at the uh, National Landlord Investment Show. We're uh, actually exhibiting. There's some of the team. Give them away. Hello. Dan uh, over here. So uh, yeah, it should be an interesting day. Uh, there's quite a few exhibitors. I think they're expecting a lot of people here. Um, so we'll do some more uh, shots later during the day and I'm speaking a little bit later as well. Christian can help you and get you booked in uh, for that. So who's interested in developing property and property development? 
Yeah, a few people. So uh, this month at the property meet, we have the former head of planning, uh, somebody who very rarely speaks at these events. So I'm really excited that he's actually going to be sharing his vision on where the opportunities are across the country, You know what some of the councils are doing, where as property investors and developers we should be looking. I don't know if you haven't come across me uh, before, uh, you can connect with me on uh, social media on multiple platforms. Uh, YouTube is where a lot of our content is, but what you'll probably be interested in. We do a lot of videos around investing in property, uh, 300 plus videos on the channel. So, uh, great time if you subscribe. And who do I need to bribe and persuade to subscribe? I think yes, a few people. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Um, so, uh, who knows who this person is? It's been a great day at the Landlord Investment Show and now I have a training session I'm doing for uh, Project Possible Online. We're just about to uh, start. So see you again shortly. Really pleased to finally get the car back. I'm actually in the city centre this morning, uh, meeting up with Steve Hamilton uh, from Property Circle, um, where he'll be interviewing me for his podcast. So I'll see you again shortly. A lot of changes happening in Birmingham city centre. Every time I'm here, seems to be some new building that's uh, that's gone up. Whose car do you think that might be? Just at the Property Circle offices just now and just met up with uh, Steve Hamilton. Uh, in fact, it's the uh, first time we'd uh, properly met uh, for his uh, podcast. I uh, really enjoyed uh, doing that. Steve, when do you think that'll be ready to... Um, two weeks. A couple of weeks. Yeah, So and we have the 30 questions as well. Yes, the 30 we're doing a little bit more cool. now, so uh, um, that'll be good. And so when's your next event? Um, October the 1st. We're just okay. trying to secure the Lowry in Manchester. Oh, wow. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll be able to come. Another level. Maybe be able to, to speak if you have time. That that would be great. Um, but yeah, October the 1st, hopefully. But it will be around October the 1st or October the 7th, just depending on what's, what's available Put for Put that us. date in your diary. Manchester's not very far from here, so. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Just popped in to check on one of the uh, projects. Uh, it just looks like a pile of rubble at the moment. Well, actually, it's advanced a little bit further than that. Uh, this one is a uh, large detached family home. Uh, this one's actually my family home. Um, so I'm gonna do a video on this one very soon, so look out for that. Sunday session today at the training center we have the property insiders ed workshop i'm running today nice small interactive workshop about getting the fundamentals right and getting property investing property investing success even in 2022